Hello everyone. So this video is special because in this video we are going to overcome one of the biggest restrictions of Burp Suit 2.x. And we saw that in our day to day life for any pen test or bug bounty work that you are going to do, you need to crawl the URLs because increasing the scope is very very essential and important for any pen tester or a bug bounty hunter. And into the new burp suit community edition specifically we do not get that feature and we need to purchase that but how to overcome this so i call this as a poor man's spider setup in which we are going to use another tool to spider the urls and send it to our burp suit for further inspection all right so how are we going to achieve this so as you can see over here, I have used this tool which is FFUF, which basically means first faster you fool, which is a tool which is written in Go language and is used extensively for fuzzing. There are other alternatives for fuzzing tools like WFuzz, etc. But this tool is comparatively much more faster than other tools. So we are also going to use FFUF or FUF, whatever you like to call it. All right. So first let's see what is the syntax of using this tool so that we get the URLs in our burp suit and what is all this stuff that you're able to see onto the screen. So for that, let's understand this. So here I have written a particular command which says FFUF and let's break this down. So your FFUF itself is the tool. Let me just zoom this a little bit for you. So FFUF is the tool itself. Hyphen W stands for the word list that you are going to use for fuzzing. You can utilize any word list that you like. There are many good word lists available into the sec list or payload all things or JSON haddix all.txt which you can use. Now the next is hyphen U which means the URL that you're going to give, which is nothing but our target. This first is the injection point or insertion point, whatever you like to call it, from where the fuzzing will start. So obviously it is going to start from the root of the target domain. Then hyphen O stands for output. So we want to save the output of all the thing that has been happening into a file. So I'm going to save the output in this file, which is rohit.json. Now the most important feature over here that you need to use is the replay proxy. Replay proxy basically means you're going to proxy everything that fuff is going to do through a proxy. And here we are going to use the proxy, which is our loopback address and a specific port number. Sounds perfect. So let's see this. Now before this, you need to do a little bit of setup into your burp suit. So after you have started your burp suit community edition, the latest version, just go into proxy and go into options. After you are into your options tab, you just need to click on edit and choose a binding port. You can choose any specific port. By default, when you will start, it will be binded to 8080. I prefer changing this to any other random port number because sometimes it may give an issue when you are using the default 8080 port. All right, so you need to change this to 8081 or you, any port number that you like, but you have to remember that you have to use the same port number that you have given over here with FFUF, then only this will work. All right, now you have to go in request handling and you can see redirect to host. So I want all the requests to get redirected to this particular host on this specific port because the web application is running on HTTP port. So I have choosed 80. You can choose 443 as well if the web application or your target application is running on HTTPS. That's it. You just need to hit OK and head over to HTTP history. Now, as we have already understood the command, now it's time to run this. So let me zoom this as well. And let me clear the screen. Now, if I will press enter, this will start. Now, before hitting enter, you can see I have written hyphen C as well into this command, which stands for color coding, which means I want to see colors for different sets of status codes that 
FFUF matches. MC is basically I'm using a matcher and that matcher is 200 for specific codes, which means when the fuzzing process starts only show 200 OK status codes URLs to me. Do not show anything else. Sounds perfect. Now let me come over here and let me delete all this. I have already done uh, fuzzing and I have captured all the URLs in my book. So let me just delete all the selected items and let me restart it again and hit enter. And you can see the fuzzing has started automatically and I'm able to get all the URLs which contains a 200. Okay. And you can see over here as well. It has started looks perfect. Now you can choose any particular URL and you can start playing with it. So let's say I want a URL, which is this. Now you won't get this particular feature in Fuff, wherein you are not able to analyze or do inspection of these particular URLs, which are matching. Now we have overcome that particular restriction in Bob suit, wherein you can do inspection of these particular URLs as well. As you can see the status code, you can filter it based on the status codes as well. You can identify 301, 200 OK status codes, and you can do whatever you want now into this URLs as well as you can see the response as well to those specific URLs that have been running. And now you have a poor men's spider, which you can utilize to crawl as many as URLs for any target specific domain and you will be able to identify and you will be able to fiddle with this URLs and identify many vulnerabilities because now you have increased the scope. You can also notice the user agent over here is FFUF because the requests are being sent for FUF. You can change that as well. It is into its help documentation. You can see the command to change the user agent and it will get changed for whatever you like. Let's say you want to make it to Mozilla Firefox or Chrome, etc. There is just an option add on and you can try it as well. All right. So I hope you guys understood how you can do this. And this will be really, very really helpful for you into the future course of action in which you want to use spider feature into the new Bob suit, wherein you are not, not able to crawl the URLs. You can do that with the help of FFUF. Uh, so I hope you guys understood. Thank you.